I'm going to show you not only how to create custom QR codes for any occasion, but modify those QR codes into any shape that you wish. The first thing you're going to want to do is go down to the website in the description below. You can choose any website you'd like if you want to just create a regular QR code. However, this website will not only let you create a QR code, but it'll morph it into any application you would like to. So a pet ID, an event, a coupon, social media posts, a Google Maps location. This website will create your QR code and then create a design to go along with it. So the first thing you need is the website that you're looking to make a QR code into. And then from here, you're going to go down to this plus button and it's going to take you to this screen that will let you choose any of these designs. Here's where you can change your QR code shapes. So if you want it a specific shape, you can choose it that way. If you want to change the color of it, you can come over here and choose a specific design. If you want it to be a certain theme, like a holiday or teddy bear, you can change it to that. You can change the colors, and if you want a specific color, come over here. These have some default ones and some cool pre-designed ones. The shapes, you can change the color of the eyes, which are these things over here. You can choose any of these logos. Let's say I wanted to throw a Halloween party because Halloween is coming up. I put my URL into this already. I chose this design. Now what I can do is I can certainly download this, and it'll ask you to make it a static or dynamic QR code, and this you're planning to modify the website link of your QR code. You don't really need to choose dynamic. You can just choose static. It'll ask you for the name, Halloween, select a folder that you don't have to. If you want to use this website regularly, you can sign in and then create a list of your QR codes that you've used in the past and click download. And that's all you have to do. So now that you have that QR code, I'm going to show you how to input it into a design of your choice. However, from here, you can now push this out to anybody. Let's say for this Halloween party, your link is going to be sent to everybody to show them where to buy a costume, right? I just chose Party City. You can change it to whatever you'd like. You're going to download this QR code and then input it into a design. So now you can come over here to design. Let's say I just wanted to make a Halloween flyer. I showed you how to make your own Canva design in my last video, but Today, I'm just going to show you an already made design where now you can come to your downloads and just drag and drop right into your flyer. And now you have a custom QR code that you can put anywhere just like that. Let's say instead of a party, you have a celebration coming up or a birthday or a wedding or something where you're going to get gifts, right? You can input your URL here where that'll have your registry or that'll have your gift ideas or your wish list, right? Something along those lines come into here to decorate your QR code and you can decorate it with Santa or you can decorate it with clothes if you're trying to look for those, right? You can decorate it however you'd like and you can also come over to shapes and you can decorate it in any shape you'd like. Or if you wanted to change the way the shape looks, if you wanted, I don't know, if you really wanted clothes for your birthday or if you wanted jewelry or if you wanted a card for your birthday, this will be a subtle nod, right? And then you can change the actual colors of the QR code itself. You can pick any color that you'd like over here. If you want to get more specific with it and you don't want a default one, right, you can come over here and change the shape of the actual QR code right in the middle, right? They call it the eye. You can decorate over here. So let's say you wanted to pull up the car that you always wanted, right? And come over here. Choose the car that you've always wanted, download that picture, come back over here, click to add picture. And now you have this as a background. And now what you can do is you can come over here and make the QR code bigger, right? You can move it around to wherever you want and have this as your background and then have the QR code over here, right? And it'll automatically do it in this website itself. If you want to get more sophisticated with it, obviously download the QR code, come back into Canva or whatever you want to use. Let's say you're going to a car show and this is your car, right? You can put the Mustang as your car, edit image, background remover, delete this element. And now with that QR code that you just downloaded, now you can actually place your QR code into here. You can edit it, get rid of the background, and then place this QR code wherever you want. It's still a QR code. So as soon as you scan it, it's going to take you to the car of your dreams or whatever you want it to be, right? Maybe you have a Instagram for your car or 
it's going to take you to the car shows website, right? You can come over here, take a picture of it, and it'll take you right there. If you're looking to do this straight from Canva, they do make it pretty easy, although these are mostly third-party apps, so some of them may work better than others. Click on this first one, QR code, type in the URL, and you can generate the code, or you can just change the background picture, which is super easy, and then it's right there. This one in particular doesn't let you change the shape. There are others that might let you do that, but then it asks you to connect and do all these extra steps. So if you're looking to do just a square QR code and maybe change the basic color, you can do it right through Canva. Otherwise, click the link in the description to go on to QR code chimp and they make it super easy as well. And if you want to do it all from this website, they make it super simple and allows you to just put a QR code into basically any environment or application. Also, if you have any other suggestions or anything else that you'd like to see from me or learn about, leave it in the comments down below as well. Other than that, I'll catch you next time.